Hey everybody, I'm Lindsay Adler and I'm a portrait and fashion photographer based in New York City. Sometimes unusual subject matter calls for unusual lighting. And in this case, I have my beautiful model here, but also a really cool avant-garde headpiece. And so for this particular shot, I'm inspired by the gems on this headpiece. I know that when I photograph gems, they're going to pick up the light and kick around whatever color or light that I've shine on them. So what I've decided to do for this subject is photograph her with two lights. The first light is going to shape the light on her face. It's going to give me a little bit of drama, but the second light, I'm going to gel with a little bit of color because I know that color will pick up in the headpiece and give me something just a little bit more unusual. And I'm going to start with one speed light. And on this speed light, I have a flash bender too small. And the reason I've chosen a small light modifier is because I know I want contrasty and dramatic light. I need to create contrast and then also shadows. And shadows are going to be really important for this image because when I add a gel to this photograph, the gel is going to show up most in the shadow areas. If I flat light my subject in the front and then add a gel, it won't show up as much. But if I create those shadows and then add a gel, you'll really see that color. So let me start by getting a shot of this particular lighting setup before I've added in my gel. So what you're going to see on her face is Rembrandt light. You're going to see that triangle of light underneath her eye, very crisp and dramatic. So when I go ahead and I add in my second flash, my gelled speed light, now you're going to see color pick up everywhere in the photo, but particularly in those areas that you see in shadow in this first image. When I'm adding a gel to a speed light, I go ahead and I use my Rogue Flash gels because they're specifically sized and made for my speed light. The kit that I have here is the Combo Gel Kit. And so within this kit, I have color corrective gels, but also creative gels. I'm going to take two gels, a teal and a blue, and I'm going to add these to my speed light. What I'm going to do in this instance is I'm going to add the gel in, and then using my wireless trigger, I'm going to change the power output of the gel so that it's just the right mix. Instead of being overpowered and having a whole lot of blue teal, instead I want just a splash of color. So if you compare the first shot with no gel, you'll see the very crisp definition to the shadows on this side of her face. Now notice, where does the gel pick up once we've added it? In the shadow areas. So if you're using gels and you really want them to show up, keep that in mind. Wherever there is a shadow area, make sure that the gel is hitting that area and that's where you'll see it the most. 